As part of our first exercise, let's create a simple CDS view. So I assume most of you will know how to create a CDS view. If not, I'll show you how to create a simple CDS view uh, using table SPFLI, that is the flight scheduled table. So I'll right click here in the core data services. I'll click here and click on data definition because we're trying us to create a CDS view, not the access control as of now. So first we need to create a CDS view. So I'll click here. It will give this wizard. I'll just type say Z, B. I am trying to create a, create a basic view. So and I'll say flight schedule and then say I'll say basic view to fetch flight schedule. So if you know about CDS view, uh, then you should be knowing little about the VDM that is the virtual data model. So in the virtual data model, um, we whenever we select something from the direct table, means when you're doing the direct database hit, we should be doing that using a base or basic um, virtual data model. So whenever you are fetching data from the table, we use it use it using basic view. And when you play around with the basic views and other uh, interface view, then we create a composite view. And then when you finally expose it to the analytics or to the UI or Fury or, or whatever which consuming it, so we create a consumption view. So broadly, VDM is divided into two parts, that is consumption view and interface view. And in the interface view, you have basic view and the composite view. So we are not going into those details, but just wanted to tell you that we are creating a basic view in this uh, exercise. So I will click next. And then I will give it in this transport and hit finish. So you have this uh, template created. We just need to give the SQL view name. So usually in the projects, what we do, we give everything without the underscore. That's what we give. And also we give a V. That's our naming convention in our project. So if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is OK. Because you cannot have more than 16 characters in this SQL view. So you must be knowing that whenever we try to create a CDS view, there is always a CDS entity, which is this one, which comes after the define view. This is the CDS entity. And this is the SQL view, which gets created. This SQL view can be seen in SE11 in the data dictionary. And this is the actual CDS entity, which we should be using in all our uh, development and data extract. After giving the SQL view, we need to change the source of data so we already informed you that we will select it from for flight schedule so i'll use spfli as my source table and then the fields which i want to select is um, car id car id you need to give a comma then con id that is the flight connection then i want to give the country so if i control and space it will give you country for from and then I can give uh, city from city from. So I, I want to play around with these fields, and also I need to give the key. So my car ID and con ID are my keys, and I can beautify it means format it using right click source code and then format. So it formats the code. So you see the keywords have become lowercase now, and then I have to save. Or activate so this this one will save it check and save it and then I can activate it so if you see here it's getting activated in the lower right corner so it got activated so when it gets activated this name that is ZB underscore flight under schedule is no more italics so if it is not active if I say hit something else and then if I say I want to add COUNT country 2 and this one so if you see, there is a star over here. So this means that this is not active. And then if I remove this, and then I will hit activate, the star will no longer be there. If you see here, the star is gone. All right. Let's test whether our CDS is giving us an output or not. So the easiest way is to press F8, or you can also 
go and test it using the menu so i will hit press f8 i'll hit f8 if i hit f8 you get an output so in this output you see that there are flights from um, lufthansa germany us italy you are from singapore so in our exercise while we use the access control we will see how we can restrict to view only flights from particular country say say you are a user from germany then you should be having access to view only the flights which is moving uh, from germany okay so similarly your counterparts who are living in say australia or who are living in usa they should not be able to view your records uh, for this example it might look very simple right why can i not look at the flights from germany or why cannot i look at the flights from singapore but when you have different companies say one big company has a uh, headquarter at germany and another one has an headquarter in usa then they they both do not want to show their financial uh, data to each other so th there those are confidentials but you have one sap system so in those cases sap security is a must you need to segregate the roles so that users with specific roles can see specific data and with cds view access control we can control it at a role level as well so you can say oh this raw data should be visible to someone and not to else so others. so in in this exercise or in this whole course we will see how we can do those uh, security uh, segregations